Hi everyone and welcome back to a bonus episode in our Gamepad UI UMG series. Uh, the reason for this uh, bonus episode is because I've been asked uh, often and by my close patrons um, that um, they'd like to have, instead of having text at the top of the screen in our menu, they want icons instead. Uh, so I thought I'd show you how to swap those out for icons. So to get started I've imported in uh, four icons here. And these are P simple PNGs with an alpha background, so it's just the icon here. Important to note, it must be white, okay, for this uh, same effect that we do on our text. We want it to be white, okay. So with that done, um, I see I've got four of them, each one referring to each page in our UI. So first thing we need to do is go into our page title UI. This is the, the button that goes at the top of the screen, okay. And in here, we're going to get rid of the text. And instead use an image so drag an image into it and we want to um, for testing purposes just swap in a uh, one of those images we had there so I had one that was a uh, position marker you can see it's quite large so what we do here is change the image size here down to 128 by 128 and click compile so now we have to tie this together with the individual types of pages and get them working with the same effect. So our text before changed color based on which page was active. To make that happen here too, on the right hand side, scroll down and you see color and opacity. Simply go to bind and bind that same thing we did before, which is set active page to this instead. And this will change the color of this icon rather than the text. It'll work the same because all it's doing is changing the color. Next, we go to our graph and we're going to create a new variable called page icon. And we're going to make this editable. So tick the eyeball icon and then go to the variable type down in the details panel here and change it to a texture 2D. And this will be an editable variable by the designer when they make their uh, UI to insert whichever icon they want this one to use, uh, which you'll see in due time. So now we've got that variable there, we now need to tie this variable together with the image. So drag your image out and choose get. And in the pre-construct, we're going to do a set brush from texture. Again, that goes into the pre-construct. And the texture we're going to be using is simply this page icon. So drag that out and hook that in and hit compile. So we are done here now. We can close this. And we can go into our menu UI, which is where we put it all together. And you can see the blank images appearing at the top here. Now, when we go in and change on each one the page icon, so this one is for skill, so we put in my skill icon. This one's going to be the uh, inventory. This one here is quests. And this one here is maps, uh, which is this one. And now that is tied in with what we had previously on our title code. So that's all we have to do. Click compile and then go back to the game, push play. And now you can see I've got icons instead of text. And that's how you do icons instead of text. Thanks very much for watching. If you, again, if you have any suggestions for future videos or elaborations for, on uh, this series or other series, leave comments below. I do read them. It's just a matter of time getting around to making the videos, that's all. So thank you very much for all my patrons for their continued support. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.